We were just gonna watch her get married tomorrow. On the season finale of Life Unexpected, nothing disrupts a wedding quite like marrying the wrong guy. Are you in love with me? I think that, you know, we're all happy we made it this far and feel really good about the end of the season. So I think, um, I know, you know, we had the read through yesterday for it and the actors are stoked and the crew is psyched and we're just all kind of ready to go. It's it's definitely the culmination of a lot of stories kind of all coming to the head, uh, head in this episode and it's definitely designed to be um, a season finale, not a series finale. But I think that in a kind of global series way, it is satisfying for these characters um, if this were to be the end of their story, which hopefully it won't be. By the end of the season, or as we go past that mo past the moment, everyone, our three main characters, Kate, Baze, and Lux, really have to come to terms with what they really want on the inside and what, what will really make them happy and make tough decisions to try to achieve that. What Bayes really wants and what does it mean and what does he have to give up to go after that? What Lux really wants and what is her admitting what she really wants? And then, of course, Kate um, admitting and trying to go after what she really wants. I wrote it like in Cabo, like <laughs> like five in the morning. It, um, it, it, it was hard to write in a way, but it also, because it was so, we knew what we were driving towards and we knew where we wanted these characters to be, it also was extremely satisfying. And I think the only reason it was hard was that we just wanted it to be so perfect, you know? I wrote a draft of it and another writer helped me out with it and then we actually, because it was the end and we didn't have, have any more scripts kind of coming down the line, um, we were able to actually do a round robin with it with all the writers. So um, almost every writer got to kind of put their hands on the script and to do a pass of it and I think that that's one of the reasons that it just, it, you know, it's turned out really, um, it's turned out really well. In a perfect world, next season what we'd like to do, if we get a second season, is expand, tell more stories with Tasha, have Ryan have much bigger, more complicated stories, more about Lux's past coming in. Like, Lux is, is a, obviously a product of 15 years of this really tumultuous upbringing, and that will continue to inform not only who she is, but how she makes choices and, and leads her life. And so we'd love to be able to tell, to continue to like go to that well in terms of uh, storytelling and places to go. My dad is right over there. Yes. Yeah, he's been uh, he's been on set for a couple days. Both my parents have they were up for the pilot. They were up for episode 2 and 3. So this is their uh, his my mom's third, his fourth. So it's been really fun. It um, it's, you know, obviously it's a show that I feel really close to and my parents read everything I write and give me notes and <laughs> they know everything, you know. They're, they actually could be development executives. They're really, um, they're really skilled at this. My dad and I will get in arguments. This doesn't make any sense, Liz. It's just, I don't buy this. Um, so it's been really fun and, and it makes it so much better to get to share it with, with the two of them. No, I can, I can uh, oh. say that I'm in just incredibly proud of her. Uh, and the, the determination that she's had for this and the, and, you know, and the intensity that she's gone after this, and, um, and we're just really proud. Aww. Really, really proud. Thanks, Dad.